Hi, I'm Martin from Pioneer DJ and I'm down here at DJ Kit in Newbury with our new player, the XDJ700. Uh, here it is. Uh, XDJ means it's part of our Rekordbox family, so it's a Rekordbox player. Um, and more importantly, it means it doesn't feature a CD drive down the bottom. So it shares a lot in common with, our, with its bigger brother, which is the XDJ1000 player. Um, but this is our entry into the into the world of record box if you're looking for a single format player. So the jog wheel is a similar size to the CDJ350, which is the product that eventually this will replace, um, and it's more in keeping with what you'd find on a on a traditional controller. Um, if you want the benefits of the the large jog wheel, then it would be XDJ1000, CDJ900, or CDJ2000 Nexus. So you get a smaller jog wheel which enables the unit to actually be much smaller, uh, much more compact and easy to fit in uh, tighter DJ booths. If you look at this unit down here, it shows how slim and sleek it can be. This unit has got the, uh, the X stand that we've put on the bottom here, which is quite easy to remove. Just squeeze in those levers and you can take it off or put it on quite easily. Um, the reason why we do that is because it then brings the unit up to the same height as our series of DJM mixers. So if you suffer from a bit of OCD and you want your, uh, your player to be flush with your mixer then that's what that stand enables you to do, um, raises it up slightly. So coming back to the, uh, the unit itself, you've got a smaller jog wheel than you'd find on the XDJ1000 and upwards to, to allow it to be smaller. Um, you've also got slightly less buttons that you find on the bigger brother model. So for example on the XDJ1000 you have your touch and brake release control knob. Um, so you don't have that anymore and you don't have a physical button for the reverse either. But that's okay because you get that functionality on the touch screen that I'll come to in a moment. If, if you look you've got your vinyl brake there. The only difference is you can't adjust the amount of time it takes for the track to slow down once you've hit the stop button like you get to do on the XDJ1000. Um, okay, so its principal functionality is as a, a USB player, um, particularly if you're using record box files on the USB stick. So, um, same screen as the XDJ1000. So down the left hand side here you've got your selection of inputs. Um, we've got a USB stick here at the moment so that's why I've got USB selected. Um, it does feature Pro DJ Link so on the back you've got an Ethernet port so you can come out of that Ethernet port and link it up to another player. And what that enables you to do, like the CDJ2000 Nexus 900 Nexus and XDJ1000, is it allows you to read the information off of one USB stick. So we've got a USB stick in here. If I go to this player and I select Link, it's now looking at the content on the USB stick in that player. Now you can do that with up to four players if necessary, and what that enables is uh, uh, a really good add-on if you've got a pair of CDJ2000 Nexus and a DJM900 Nexus for example and you wanted a third and fourth deck option without having to go out and spend £3,000 um, you can do that within this unit. Same thing with a venue, if your venue's got a very tight DJ booth and they want a third and fourth deck option this gives you function that, that functionality. Admittedly you won't have the CD drive if a DJ is playing off CD but um, that's fine, you'll have that in your two principal players in the in the venue setup. So we've got USB selected here, you've got link if you're playing connected to another player, or you've got your record box input, um, which you would use if you've got the unit directly connected to your laptop running record box DJ software as your main library. So let's go back to USB. So that's the controls down the left hand side. You've then got your um, your selections along the top. Um, you've got your browse function, your tag list, uh, your link information and your menu uh, and utility menu. So let's just have a quick look at those. So we're on USB stick, I go over to the browse option, I press it and it brings up my list of indexes, the ways in which I can search the music on the USB stick. I would normally search by playlist, so it says playlist and it brings up the first six playlists 
uh, over here on the right hand side so I know that I'm, uh, I've am i got the right USB stick for example. But while we're in this screen I'm going to go down to search because this is a unique feature that you have with the XDJ1000 and the XDJ700. Um, if I press search it brings up a QWERTY keyboard along the bottom there. Um, you can do this on CDJ900 Nexus and 2000 Nexus but it's not a QWERTY keyboard you've got um, an A to Z alphabet along the touch strip that you have to select from so it's not quite as intuitive or as easy as using a QWERTY keyboard like you would if you were on a laptop so just for argument's sake let's look for Calvin Harris so C A L V that's all I need to do and it's brought up all of the tracks there that have got remotely anything to do with, uh, with, with Calvin Harris uh, as an example but let's come back out of that so playlist uh, search the playlist you want you get a preview of the first six tracks within that playlist so you know you're in the right playlist and then you go into the playlist itself and you select your track and the track loads up instantly um, you can see the full waveform of the track and you can also see a zoom of the waveform along here so the browse pot then becomes a zoom button so I can zoom right out or I can zoom right in which is exactly the same as you'd get on the uh, uh, on the other products higher up in the range um, you've also got your bar counter along the top here so uh, when you're playing with another player you can make sure that your bars are synced as well as your beats being synced um, so coming along the top here if you then wanted to browse for another track you just hit browse and you can access that playlist again um, and start selecting tracks from that so you've then got your tag list button so that works the same as, as any of our other players you can tag tracks by pressing the tag button um, I'm gonna come out of that playlist and I'm gonna go to another playlist and I'm gonna tag a few tracks in that playlist if I then press tag list it shows me those tracks that I've tagged so in other words you're creating a playlist using content from other playlists so it allows you to build up a set to play on the night a bit like when you used to pull your records up out of your record box back in the old days if anyone's old enough to remember that um, information button allows you to see the information on the tracks that you're searching through um, and also if you're just in your playing mode and you press info it gives you the information of the track that's actually playing okay let's come out of that uh, their menu uh, showing you the previous track if you want to reload that again or if you hold it down it becomes your utility mode so you can you can plot all of your favorite settings onto the player export them onto the USB stick so when you play on a uh, on, on another record box player in a club like a CDJ 2000 Nexus all of your settings within the hardware will be recognized by that player in the club um, allowing you into the whole uh, record box ecosystem you then got your perform screen again same as the XDJ 1000 almost um, along here you've got your loop so press number two and it creates a two beat loop um, half is a half beat loop if you wanted to go beyond that if you press half times it will half that loop again and again and again um, up until 1 128th of a BPM uh, of a beat if you wanted to um, you press the two times button and it then doubles the loop if that's what you want to do uh, you can go up to 16 beat loop here if you keep on pressing two times it will go beyond that to a 32 beat loop or a 64 beat loop if, if you so choose for a long outro for example um, the only thing you don't have here that you do have on the XDJ1000 is your, um, your your beat jump options which allow you to skip through a track in quantize without losing a, a beat or the loop shift function that allows you to shift a loop along the beat grid of a track so that, that's one thing that you're missing on the 700 that you don't have on the 1000 um, then of course other standard features you've got your hot cues along the top here so record a hot cue uh, you can just input them wherever you want um, and then they're there ready to go um, and then your your call button if you wanted to call up any previous preset hot cues um, quantize on and off so it's not a physical button like you get on the 2000 Nexus but it is on the touch screen if you want to use it so that's it the XDJ 700 available for 519 pounds representing really good value for money if you're looking for a product with the the big screen record box navigation and feedback um, if you're going to go and play 
on a CDJ 2000 Nexus in a club, familiarise yourself with it. So £519, available in November, uh, and you can get it from uh, djkit.com.